Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Apti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to register users personal Windows 10 device to Azure Active Directory using Azure AD registered method. Azure AD registered devices become the preferred option for organizations that have implemented a bring your own device policy or need to support mobile devices. With this method, the organization's users can access Azure Active Directory controlled resources using their own devices. This method does not require an organizational account to sign into the device as the device which could be Windows 10, iOS, Android or Mac OS device is owned by the individual. The provisioning is done from the company portal, Microsoft Authenticator app or the settings of the device depending on the operating system. In addition to a password, Windows Hello, PIN, Biometrix or patents can be used for sign into such devices. Organizations can manage devices using mobile device management or mobile application management. Features like single sign-on and conditional access are available to Azure AD registered devices as well. I think it is enough about Azure AD registered devices. Let's see it practically. This is a Windows 10 computer with version 21H2. We want to register this computer to our Azure Active Directory. Right-click on Start button and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type command hostname and press Enter key. Our Windows 10 computer name is BYOD. Now type command dsragcmd slash status. This command will show us the current status of this Windows 10 computer. Let's press Enter key. Here we can see this computer is neither joined to Azure Active Directory or not registered to Azure Active Directory. Under user state, we can see workplace join option is set to no. And same goes for Azure AD join. So we can confirm that this computer is not part of Azure Active Directory. We will again check these options later on. Now open MMC. Click on yes, click on file and select add remove snapping. Select certificates, click on add. Make sure user account is selected. Click on finish, click on ok. Expand current user certificates. Click on personal, here we can see at the moment, this user does not have any certificate under his personal certificate store. Later on, we will check this as well. Now, let's register this Windows 10 device into our Azure Active Directory. Click on Start button. Click on Settings icon. Click on Accounts. Click on Access, Work or School. Click on connect button to start the Windows 10 Azure AD registration process. We will be prompted to enter Azure AD user account credentials. We will use test user one's credential. Enter test user one's UPN, which is user one at msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com. After entering the username, click on next. Provide user's password and click on sign in. Click on next. It is asking us to register for Microsoft Authenticator app. At this moment, uh, I'm not going to set up the Microsoft Authenticator app. So simply I'm going to close this console. And we can see our user account has been successfully added 
and we now have access to our organization's applications and services. Under work or school account, we can see user one at msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com is listed. Let's go back to Azure AD Admin Center web interface. You can access Azure AD portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. Under Manage, click on Devices. Click on All Devices. Under All Devices, we can see a Windows 10 device is listed with the name BYOD. We can confirm Join Type Method is Azure AD Registered, Owner is Test User 1. So we have successfully registered Personal Windows 10 Device to Azure Active Directory using Azure AD Registered Method. Now let's go back to Windows 10 Computer. First go back to the PowerShell. Uh, let me clear the screen. And again type dsrag cmd slash status command and press enter key. Under user state, this time we can verify workplace join option value is set to yes. Since this device is now registered in Azure Active Directory. We can also see workplace device ID and workplace thumbprint of this device. We can see the certificate with the same workplace device ID and workplace thumbprint in user's personal certificate store. Now let's go to MMC console. Click on refresh. Click on certificates. So under personal, you need to click on certificate. Here we can see one certificate with client authentication purpose. If you want, you can match workplace device ID and workplace thumbprint with this certificate. Uh, let me show you that. Here we have workplace device ID, which is starting with the 1695B5 and same device ID is here. So when we registered this Windows 10 computer to our Azure Active Directory using Azure Active Directory registered method, at the time, the certificate is issued by Azure Active Directory to our Windows 10 computer. At last, we are going to check for the single sign-on feature on this device. If SSO is working, users can access Azure service without entering his username and password. Let's open Microsoft Edge web browser. Type URL HTTPS colon double slash AAD dot portal dot azure dot com. Press enter key to access Azure AD Admin Center web interface. We can confirm that user can access Azure AD Admin Center without entering his username and password. It didn't ask for the username and password. That means Single sign-on feature is working fine on this Azure AD registered Windows 10 device. Even we didn't need to log in with Azure AD user credential on this device. Here we can see a username user1 at msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com. So that concludes the video on how to register user's personal Windows 10 device to Azure Active Directory using Azure AD Registered Method. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.